hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to fish academy in today's video i want to show you how to prepare kakaban um kakaban is that thing where you spray your eggs after spawning and um, that is what i want to show you how to prepare today this is as a result of recommendation so many of you you, uh, you that have been calling that i should make video on kakaban so i just have to do that today and for those of you that have asked me to do videos on various various things i will make videos on those things but for today is preparation of kakaban and uh, if you are new on this channel all you need to do is for you to look below this video click on the subscribe button after you click on the subscribe button and the button click on the notification button this is for you to be notified whenever i bring you new video and um, in this channel i have over 235 videos showing you on how to do various things how to produce fish food how to uh, uh, spawn your eggs how to control your pond how to set up farm how to do different things you are going to see those videos on this channel first of all let me thank you for making this this channel your most preferred channel on youtube as regards fish farming so let's get to the preparation of the kakaban for the kakaban this is what i'm going to use is this is a uh, net uh, they use it in at, uh, at, at in the home so you can get this and um where they sell building materials this is where you see this type of net and this net is not the smaller one that with smaller holes this one has wider holes this is to enable the the, the eggs or the the fries to fold uh, to, to to go up the, uh, the kakaban after they have ashed out so i'm also going to make use of this pipe and different other pipes so just see how to prepare a neat kakaban i have visited so many farms where people make their kakaban and at times it looks so irritating but this kakaban i'm going to prepare you are going to see is going to be well tensioned and very very neat for your fish and i tell you when you do your kakaban like this and you spawn in your farm you spawn in your ashery you are going to have a lot of success like a 98 percent success if you do what i'm going to show you now so kakaban how to do it yourself so um this is going to be for the length and i'm also going to use this so let me cut this and start the preparation the way it ought to be okay. yep. sorry this is not the saw i'm supposed to use i didn't get the saw blade i'm supposed to use to cut this so forgive me let me just use this to cut but it's still going to do the same work use this to measure it so as to have them the same length same length so this is what I am going to use I'm going to use two of these and two of these with th uh, this and uh, another length is another length you can decide to prepare your kakaban using any any length you wish to use uh, for your ashery depends on the size of your ashery that will also determine the length and breadth of your of your of your kakaban so this is what i'm going to use to make my own kakaban using uh, this so let me first of all i take this and I place the elbow. This is elbow.
So this is a frame for the kakaban. Very, very easy. You see, you don't need to call a plumber to come and do this for you. You can do this yourself. You don't need anybody to do this for you. This is a frame. You don't also need less of you applying uh, your PVC gum. Once everything is tight this way, water will not penetrate this pipe. So you don't need to use your PVC. But if you still want to make, you, uh, make use of your PVC, you can place your PVC at the elbow before uh, doing the pipe. So this is it. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is for me to lay the net on this pipe. Just watch how I'm going to do. This particular section will interest you a lot. This is a PVC gum. Oh man, very tight. So you place your gum on the pipe like this, placing your net close to it. This is a PVC gum, as I said. very very easy just need to watch this video to the end to see how I'm going to make this uh, I'm going to tension it because it's not just placing the gum you also have to make it very well so that it won't have issue when you place or you put it into the archery So if you are doing it on your own, you use your hand to place to press the net to the to the PVC pipe and you allow it to dry first. After it may have dried, the next thing you do is for you to you lift this up. Remember, this is the side that I have uh, gum, have gum this area is not well dry yet so you allow this to dry very very well and the next thing you to do is for you to is for you to you turn it upside down once you turn it upside down this way so as I said you turn it upside down and you try to tension it remember upside down can you see so the net is well tensioned now so because I'm doing it just on my own I'll place the gum like this Still on the pipe well tensioned you can see very very tension here you rub it round the pipe and you blow it in order for it to dry quickly You do the same thing, you tension it continuously till the entire net is tensioned. And you also have to be very careful so that the PVC gum don't pour on the net.
So I'm done with this other side of the of the pipe. So all I need to do now is from so I'm done with this part. I turn this other part of the net to do the same thing. Don't forget if you like what you are seeing, if you like this video, all you need to do is to give this video a thumbs up. Just below this video, you see a thumbs up, a thumb up button. You click on it, and if you like. Uh, this video you can also share it with your friends your fellow fish farmers and you can likewise share this video on your social media platform where you belong to in order to uh, be part of this community work don't forget what i am doing here is a community work so for you to be part of this community work you can join me by sharing this video to various social media platforms. You can see, you just need to watch this video to the end because there are more to it. Don't forget this is Fish Academy. And as I said earlier, I have over 235 videos on this channel showing you, showing on how to do various things. How to prepare fish food from Formula 1 to Formula 4. How and where to get your pellet machine. And uh, I want to also use this medium to appreciate all of you that I've done business with. Mr. Austin and every other person, I want to appreciate all of you guys. And uh, I think it's been nice doing business with all of you. And I thank you for the trust you have uh, for me. Because so many of you have been like uh, doing the unbelievable. It's not easy to pay in money to someone you've not seen before. But you guys have been doing that. And I think it's, it has always been a nice uh, transaction. Uh, as I said earlier, working with Fish Academy, if you do anything with me, you should be rest assured that you are going to have the results. So this is a preparation of kakaban. You're going to see that it's different from other kakaban you've been seeing. And with this kakaban, I tell you your success after spawning. If, you, if your water quality is okay and you have a better reservoir, the production will be like 80% to 90%. Don't forget, I'm still hoping the training that I've been talking about will, will be coming up. I'm still working on some logistics. And once I'm done with logistics, the training date will be announced to anyone. And it's going to be a practical section. And you're going to watch and to see life and even do it things with your hands. It's going to be a practical training on how to do so many things. Talking about spawning, how to spawn, how to ash on your own, how to construct ashery, how to do so many things. It will be a very, uh, uh, it's, it's going to be a very good opportunity for you to learn, uh, to learn uh, so many things as regards uh, fish farming. So, this is it. Can you see? Well tensioned. So, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to cut off the remaining net. And this part of the net is not useful. Watch how I'm going to cut this off and what is going to remain. And how to make use of this in your ashtray.
So, this is the Kakaban. Wow, very nice, very neat, very, very nice. You can see the touches, the retention. So, how to uh, place it in the water inside your ashtray? This, once uh, you place this into the ashtray um, or into your ashtray, uh, this Kakaban does not sink completely but it will the, it will sink like half of this pipe will be inside the water and half of it will be up therefore covering the entire net will be submerged will be submerged and uh, you spread once that is done you spread your 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 eggs on it after fertilization you spread after your artificial fertilization you spread it on this kakaban so upon within like um, within a within a, 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 a 12 uh, 12 hours you should be able to see uh, uh, the the fries coming up and you be you see them vibrating on this net and because you use a better net the the fries will be able to fall off the kakaban uh, easily without them hanging so many people have been preparing net uh, kakaban that once the fish hatched out the fish will be hanging they can't fall out and at the end of the day the entire fish will die so to prepare a better kakaban where your fish will fall off the kakaban easily this is the type of net you, use, you need to use this is the type of preparation you need to do you have to be well tensioned so if you like this video all you need to do as i said earlier check below this video and give it a thumbs up don't forget, Fish Academy will come your, your way once again with more interesting videos on how to do so many things. Click on the subscribe button, click on the notification button. This will enable, enable you to see whenever I post you new video. Bye!